If you're looking for the best Copic marker paper here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Canson XL Series Marker Paper Pad. For sketching ideas to create a masterpiece, this trusty marker paper pad pops out more than other papers. Not just about the 100 sheets of drawing space you are getting, its competitive price is also noteworthy. It is a sketchbook that beginners, pros, and nomad artists can bring anywhere along with their Copic markers. At size 9x12, this marker pad fits in the backpack nicely yet it gives you enough surface to draw on. Since it is fold-over bound, you can flip over the cover and fold it behind so it does not get in the way while you work. If you can't find tables where you want to sketch, simply rest your paper on the back cover and start illustrating. When it comes to drawing experience, the smooth surface lets you layer and shift colors until the desired tone is achieved. Just the same, this sheet gives you space to develop coloring techniques with other mediums like color pencils, acrylic markers, and pan pastels. Regardless of your chosen medium, the paper retains the richness of the colors. Compared to cardstock, the thin paper made me worry a little about bleeding issues, but it never did. On the contrary, the sheet held the inks on top, yet it did not form any puddles of colors. Giving me yet another reason to appreciate this paper for Copic, the semi-translucent page keeps the guide illustration underneath visible. Since the papers are thin, be careful when erasing your pencil sketches as you might wrinkle the page. So far, this is the only drawback that I noticed, but it's completely workable. By gently rubbing the eraser on the page or clipping the paper onto the sketchbook with paper clamps, you can prevent it from creasing. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Copic Marker XPBC Blending Card. Like the pens and markers from this Japanese brand, the Express it is on the expensive side. Still, there are plenty of good reasons to invest in these blending cards. Made especially for Copic markers, it is not hard to imagine why this is the right paper for blending. Included in the pack are 125 sheets, providing you sizable drawing space for a series of artworks. Considering the archival quality, the 8.5x11 blending cards are more suitable for frameable pieces or portfolios. Since both Copic markers and these papers are acid-free, deterioration will never be a problem. Contributing to the ease of marker application, the silky smooth paper lets you produce gradients free of tonal gaps and feathering. With a 250 GSM build, the thick paper hardly showed any bleeding, even after spreading multiple layers of inks on the surface. Apart from flaunting vivid colors, it is also appropriate for graphite pencils and fine line pens. The bright white paper retains the original colors of your Copics even when viewed on screen after scanning, thereby eliminating the need for adjusting the colors on Photoshop. I fed it into the inkjet printer and it went right in without any difficulties. The same can be expected with a laser printer as it absorbs the inks well. The number 3 position is held by US Art Supply Manga Marker Paper Pad. More than just a paper for manga artists, this marker pad lives up to the standards of most illustrators and crafters. As it accommodates diverse mediums such as pencils, felt-tipped pens, and alcohol-based markers, there is more to this product that meets the eye. The blending-friendly sheets have no tooth, keeping the Copic nibs from fraying too quickly. Aside from that, the smooth surface gave me good control over the markers as I tried to form objects with highlights and shadows. When the gloss finish paper finally absorbed the inks, the colors maintained their brightness without bleed-through. Available in 9x12, the marker pad delivers adequate space for portraits, character design, landscape, fashion illustration, and other genres. In any event, it can stand up to an application of combined mediums. For enhanced precision, you can maximize the 100 GSM lightweight paper by fastening it on a lightbox to draw and trace with pen and ink. 
Furthermore, it's featured acid-free and neutral pH contents to preserve your artwork for years, if not a lifetime. Moderately priced, the product offers two sets of a 24-sheet sketchbook, amounting to 48 sheets per purchase. An ideal paper for Copic markers, it gives me a decent quality material to practice my techniques without the guilt of wasting my supplies. Next at number 4 we have Strathmore 400 Series Marker Pad. Trusted by many illustrators, the 400 Series has the best paper for Copics. If you are a pro or aspiring to be one, then this high-quality product may be just what you are looking for. Proving that the material is bleed-resistant, the ink rests on top of this 50.5 LB-190 GSM sheet. With such a level of thickness, the paper can withstand a lot of ink. Truly, the sheets are made for finished artwork. Despite being smooth, the paper provides enough friction to control fine liners or graphite pencils easily. When it comes to marker application, the silky surface serves as a foolproof blending paper to produce the elegant gradients. As if that's not good enough, the opaque white sheet retains the ink's original vibrant colors. Aside from the paper, I am impressed by how the manufacturer designed the entire marker pad. For instance, the glue bound is strong enough to hold the paper sheets together, yet pulling a leaf can be done without force. As a functional piece, the heavy chipboard works as a colorless blender cleaner and a mini table when I sketch in a park. The number 5 position is held by biannual bleed-proof markers pad. Alcohol markers are difficult to remove once you stain your desk. If you forget to place a scrap paper underneath your working sheet, the inks can bleed through the other pages of your sketchbook. But you can avoid these issues with this bleed-proof marker pad. Where accuracy is concerned, the ultra-smooth sheets give me more refined control when gliding my pens, pencils, and markers. Correspondingly, the same attribute is responsible for keeping the ink in place. It helps me fill in the small spaces with the brush tips of the Copic marker without unintentionally spreading the inks beyond the outlines. Regarded as a good paper for Copic markers, the 70 GSM sheets may be thin, but they hold up the inks to prevent bleeding and smudging. Likewise, it performs consistently well with markers like Prismacolor, Tombow, Sakura, and many more. For long-lasting quality, the acid-free feature solves problems like discoloration and deterioration of the paper. Coupled with the lightweight build, the 9X12 sketchbook variant serves as the ultimate companion for traveling artists. On top of that, the chipboard at the back provides a sturdy flat surface for sketching in places where I can't find tables. Since it is also abrasive, I like to rub the colorless blender's tip on it to remove the ink it picked up while blending. The number 6 position is dominated by Canson Layout Marker Pad. Looking for an alternative to the Copic Marker Pad that delivers the same performance? Offering high-quality paper, creative folks from broad disciplines adore this 50-sheet sketchbook for its versatility, blendability, and most importantly, affordability. Similar to the vellum finish, the semi-translucent Pro Layout Paper presents everyone the opportunity to draw with the aid of light boxes and guides underneath. A good paper to use with Copic or any brand, the markers slide on the surface for maximum blending capacity. Its smoothness wins the approval of marker artists, as it does not frazzle the fragile marker tips right away. Curiously, this thin paper does not cause any bit of bleeding despite applying several layers of colors. The sheet receives and retains the color richness of the inks dispensed from fine-line pens, solvent-based, and alcohol-based markers. With no visible feathering, the feature meets the needs of the creative professions that demand precise renditions. You can do lots of things with 114x17 sheet. It supplies a wide drawing space for landscapes, portraits, storyboards, posters, and many more. All the same, you can customize the paper into different shapes and sizes. Moving on to the next at number 7 with B Paper Company Bleed Proof Marker Pad. Here is another Copic marker paper recommendation. Not only because of its exclusively for Copic markers, but it also works well with Crow Quill pens and technical pens. Containing 30 sheets in a pad, you can never go wrong with this bleed-proof material. Weighing 180 GSM, the high-quality sheets are thick and semi-translucent. 
These characteristics afford artists the flexibility to use the papers for accurate tracings, rough compositions, and final artworks. Moreover, I managed to draw crisp lines with technical pens effortlessly. Proven compatible with Copic markers, the nibs hit it off with the ultra-smooth page spectacularly. Simultaneously, the acid-free feature ensured the hand-drawn image stayed vibrant for a long period. Showing off terrific irisibility, rubbing the eraser on pencil markings multiple times guaranteed no damage to the paper. As for measurements, the height and width of 11 inch x 8 and a half inch is a generous drawing space for all kinds of creative projects. Alternatively, you can cut it in half to produce postcard-sized illustrations. Unlike a spiral-bound sketchbook, the binding keeps all the paper together for a portfolio and gives you a clean-cut paper with a gentle pull. The number 8 position is held by Strathmore 597-9500 series marker pad. We tend to save the best cardstock for Copic markers for completed artwork or commissions. Still, we need the right paper to sketch ideas before they slip our minds. For that, let me introduce you to this Strathmore 500 series marker pad. Made of 100% cotton, the 50 sheets endure the heavy application of alcohol-based and watercolor markers. Using Copic, I observed that the ink stayed on top for a while, buying me time to manipulate the colors. As a result, the gradients were seamless and well-saturated, especially when they dried. It also has a versatile ability to produce applications by many medium types. Suitable for pencils, pen and ink, charcoals, and pastels, the paper is also conducive for mixed dry media art. Designed for layout, the 90 GSM sheet is thinner than a typical cardstock, but its semi-translucent feature comes in handy for tracing. What's more, the surface absorbs the inks of micro-tipped pens, allowing me to draw sharp, crisp lines and shapes with no smudging. The pad's compact size of 9x12 fits in the bag, allowing me to sketch ideas while traveling. Meanwhile, its tape-bound format does a great job of keeping the papers flat and intact. At the same time, I don't have to worry about the paper turning yellow or disintegrate since the acid-free quality safeguards the paper against aging. Next at number 9 we have Bushuan Premium Marker Paper Pad. This brand may be one of the cheapest options in the market, but don't underestimate the marker paper's quality. For novices, it is a beginner pad they can practice on. For seasoned marker artists, this sketchbook offers sufficient space for sketching ideas or experimenting with new blends. As an alcohol marker paper, it allows the ink to linger on top until you achieve a splendid tonal value. The Copic's sturdy yet soft tips move on the smooth surface without trouble. In keeping with dry medium, the sketchbook encourages illustrators to use it with pencil, charcoal, and solvent-based markers. On the other side of the page is a wax-like coating that keeps the bleeding in check. Despite that, the semi-translucent illustration paper makes it easy for me to detect the guides underneath the page. By contrast, the natural white tone of the sheet contributes to the brightness that colored pencils and art marker produce. Consisting of 9x12 sheets, the 50-page marker pad bears substantial space to make small details visible. Even so, most bags can accommodate the sketchbook size. As for binding, the fold-over bound lets me keep all my sketches in one pad like a portfolio or work on a loose leaf by pulling it gently. Best of all, this product comes with a 3-year warranty. If you have concerns about your sketchbook, you can reach out to their 24-hour online customer service. Moreover, the company also offers a 90-day money-back guarantee so buying this marker pad really has no risk on your part. Finally the number 10 position is dominated by Crafter's Companion Premium Cardstock. Copic users who are in search of an affordable option would find this pack of 50 premium cardstocks as promising as any top-of-the-line products. Could this be the best paper for markers? Let's go through the features to find out. Guaranteeing a flawless marker application, the cardstock paper possesses a smooth surface that lets the delicate marker tips glide. Each color blends without any feather around the edges or bleed through. Even for stamping, the paper turns up solid shapes with crisp edges. 
With the rate of 97 in brightness, the paper does not mute the colors even as the ink dries. At 80 pounds, the sheet carries strength that can also deal with watercolors, pens, and pencils. It did not show any sign of weakening when I tried painting. The size 8.5 x 11 hits the sweet spot for illustrations, as it is broad enough that you do not lose any detail. For fun DIY projects, you can customize the paper into different shapes and sizes using knife cutters, but it also works while cutting machines. While it is relatively thicker than a bond paper, it feeds easily into both laser and inkjet printers. That's all for today. We upload tech product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.